Everyone welcome to Rauda's sixth celebration video. Six years Rauda channel being in the making and now it's time to celebrate a little bit and take a look at what's been going on during those years. Uh, now I'm w filming this video from Spain where I'm having my last day before heading to Steelfest. So you might feel a little bit uh, different in the coming weeks and days when more uh, videos are getting back to normal, so to speak, filming all, all, every, all and everything from uh, Finland once again. Uh, but because Rauta actually started with Steelfest 2017, uh, not purely coincidence, but nothing to do with as Steelfest as such, uh, the first videos were made when, you know, Steelfest took place. That was like, let's do some interviews and let's put this new channel in the you know making and see how it goes and of course later on lots of reviews opinion videos and etc started to come and soon after the whole channel was something like a daily video thing whereas originally it was like a video here and there and those interviews were the first ones to land on the site and all that stuff now if we take a little bit numbers game on the video here you can see these playlists if you're wondering what i'm doing here is that there are lots of different uh, playlists nowadays which I've tried to help you, dear audience, dear viewer, to figure out which content you're going to check out. For example, there are some of these uh, smaller playlists that barely have not much, much to uh, see, but however, these are still put into use because more content will eventually um, expand these whole playlists. But I don't know, we'll see how it will go. But like for example, this crash court thing started in 2013, so not much there to see. Or TV, um, you know, reviews. I mean, for example, here is only one movie uh, or TV series that has been included into that. Or gadgets or all that stuff. Not much happening in that department. But some ranking videos, some 37 by now, and these are of course worst to best videos, which some people have requested for me to go through classic reviews and all that stuff, well, they have been there. We have done quite a few streams now, which are happening monthly basis. It's this month still happening. There's some gaming videos, which are now more absent, some workout videos, the same thing. And, and of course, some news, which are not even updated these days and all that stuff. But most of you, of course, come for certain parts, such as festival reports. I guess most audience, of course, come for interviews, which is, for some peculiar reason here in the in the bottom of the screen probably done because it was the first playlist and as you can see there are more than 130 interviews by now and it's gonna just grow, grow bigger with steel fest and all so i'm aiming something roughly closer to 140 150 this year which is in my opinion quite a nice accomplishment during six years of uh, existence now, what is in interesting also, I guess, is that there are almost 2,000 reviews by now. I say roughly because it's 1.7, but reviews other than, again, coming on a daily basis. And there are those underground trio and indie 5 videos which have multiple interviews. So if I say there's 1.7 thousand review videos, it means that the actual reviewable albums is way way bigger but that is just to give you a little bit of insight what's been going on here especially if you're a newer uh, follower of the channel and you haven't been really watching the whole six years and if you have congratulations you have a great set of nerves now opinion videos are one of the most viewed ones usually it's the interviews taking like top 10 or top 20 of the all videos but there are some opinion videos which have actually sparked some interest obviously those are also the videos that make people divide like some people are like i totally disagree with you you route dude and I'm, I'm just gonna call you an asshole or whatever because i disagree with you and your point and all that stuff so those are the most interesting ones because for interviews i usually get a lot of thanks you which is also of course a nice thing to hear reviews mostly just get like you know maybe thumbs up but nobody really comments them on that much which i totally get i mean especially if you're the kind of albums that you haven't been even listening to but that's just one of, one part of the story. But opinion videos always divide people into different um, camps. Some say, yeah, I totally agree with your point, or I agree with some points and disagree with some something else, and or just disagree all the way down. 
And it's kind of cool because it actually uh, provokes conversation, discussion, and sometimes that goes on Rauda's Discord side, which has been there pretty much uh, for as long as the whole channel has been there. And there is a community that is very active, even if it's mostly combined of, of quite a few people. I'm talking a few dozens, really. But yeah, it's it's interesting how the things have been going on. And of course, these ask me anything kind of videos and streams are sometimes overlapping where people can be asking me random questions, which I usually, I mean, I try to answer them all, but sometimes I might miss a thing or two. And then there has been these classic reviews, which are now all pretty much on hold. It's interesting, actually, that so how many people have been, you know, um, asking for classic reviews, because from my perspective they don't really make much of a sense why would i review something this is 20 30 40 years old because everybody by this day has already been listening to it but i guess sometimes people actually care about what other people think about those albums and of course there are always younger generation less experienced ones i guess would be the right choice of words who are looking for something like okay this album is considered a classic why and those takes will be coming later on on the channel as well now just temporarily, especially during this crash course, crash course of Norwegian black metal project have been put on the hold. But as this is happening during Steelfest, maybe we should actually change uh, the surroundings. What All right, guys and gals, um, here I am in uh, Hyvink area, Steelfest 23, 2023. Third day, I am now finishing this video here. Reason? Well, I kind of wanted to um, do this, finish this uh, in a place where Rauta pretty much started. So, like I said uh, early on, uh, or many times actually, that um, Rauta started with, you know, doing Steelfest interviews. And it's kind of a, always feels like we're celebrating some kind of a birthday, anniversary, if you will, when at Steelfest. Mainly because huh, this is how it's all started. And now we can tell you this, this because it's kind of a makes, um, I don't know, if a funny anecdote, but anecdote nonetheless. Carpathian Forest was one of those very, very first ones to be interviewed for Rauda when there was no channel to begin with. So you really couldn't indeed do the background check on hey, let's check out this channel and see what kind of stuff there is on the channel, like, should we do it or not? They did. Uh, or not the Frost of Carpenter First did. So now I wanted to do another round with him and his band because it is also my way to say thank you to him. So engage not the Frost if you're watching this, thank you once again. Because he had faith or, or was ready to do the interview with this guy or channel nobody knew of. And uh, I'm thankful for that kind of, uh, those kind of people, he included. And now I'm happy to say we did another one, Kirby the First. It's a little bit different angle. Of course, it's not supposed to be a remake of the first one. And now that we have that and a couple of other ones done, it's, it feels great. So six years, Rauda in the making, um, or three million views in total. Uh, the most uh, successful video so far, Satanic Warmaster interview from 2000. Um, 18 with something like 160,000 views. So you people have been a very, very rewarding audience. Sometimes you challenge me with your questions, which is of course fine. And it's nice to do those streams with you for that particular reason. Uh, also, you will give me a lot of compliments, which also, you know, is very, very nice thing to read. It's, it's nice to hear that you like what I do. And even if I screw things up every now and then, I mean, it happens. It's bound to happen. I'm a human being after all. And at least I think I am. And, um, you know, errors are mistakes are bound to happen. Sometimes I ask silly questions or like some people point out, I should have asked something that I didn't. Well, I'm, I don't claim to be perfect, like said. So, all I can say is that your feedback is very important and I like this interaction with you, the audience, and between me, because whenever you point that I do those mistakes and or I, I don't do certain things which I probably should have done, be technical or otherwise, um, it helps me to improve the channel. It helps me to give the feedback to the 
camera crew as well, like what could we do better and this and that. Sometimes those are like out of hands, like some technical problems with sound and all. So they, these things are not something that we can, you know, change too much. We're very, very limited budget. As you might know, Rauta is not really bringing cash in. So it's not like we can, you know, um, buy new gear. So there are lots of things which we are not that, how to say, we don't have the easy solution, but when it comes to the content itself, like asking those questions or doing reviews or whatever, your feedback is very important. And I got some pretty interesting feedback during this week and during day first, uh, one and two. And I try to, uh, you know, analyze the words you people keep telling me and as such improve the whole channel. But I can promise you this one. I won't be willing or able to please everybody. I'm not that much of a people pleaser. I like to make people enjoy with the serious stuff and I like to make people laugh. That's why there's this Marty content and I think probably a lot of people hate that shit. It's too goofy and too idiotic. I get it. But I don't try to, you know, please everybody. That goes beyond my skill set and willingness. But I'll still say, of course, I try to do uh, content that is some, somewhat enjoyable, funny, serious, or just something else. So, whenever you have uh, some feedback in your mind, be open about it. But remember, uh, constructive criticism is always way better than just saying something silly like, Hey, you suck, you bald man, you, you don't know how to do your shit. That doesn't really help me because that doesn't really tell me anything but that I suck. Those things being said, let's um, um, end up in positivity. So far it seems like I have uh, three interviews done at Steelfest and three or four more coming. And it looks like this summer is going to be great in terms of more interviews, more events happening. So um, if things go as planned, which they rarely actually do, I should have quite a bit of uh, interesting interviews coming your way in the following months, I think all the way down to uh, autumn, uh, maybe even winter. And uh, there will be lots of reviews, there will be those opinion videos, there will be crash course stuff. And now I want to welcome uh, one of the members you never got to see, but here he is with me at our Airbnb at Steelfest in Finland for the first time. So, Chris, my man, What's jump man? in. Like, Everybody knows those great thumbnails we have, right? And he's the master of it. So he never got enough thank yous. I mean, you always thank me like, hey, you have great thumbnails. all the... But this is the motherfucker who does all the art. And I'm really happy to have Chris here with me. Chris, it's been great. How have you liked Steelfest so far? Man, it's awesome, man. Everyone's cool. Everyone's drinking beers. Everyone's having a good time. Listen to fucking black metal. It's good. And you think we will be doing more cooperation with Rauda in the future as well? Yeah, for sure. Exactly, because thing is, good bodies make good stuff, and if somebody doesn't enjoy it or like it or whatever, you're beyond help. <laughs> but this is still Steelvest 2023. Me and Chris, we're going to go into some sauna, we're going to grab some beers, and we're going to go do some metal at Steelfest. So, say hello to Otto as well, and... Uh, <clears throat> Guys, keep bringing that feedback, go enjoy some festivals, go listen to some metal, and don't be an asshole. That's the wise word for the wise today, so 